Hey everybody, it's Bobby Flay, and today you and I, we are making muscles. Every time I make muscles, I always ask myself, how come I don't make them more? They're easy, they feed a crowd, and they take like no time at all, and most importantly, they are fantastically delicious. So um, here's what you need. You need some muscles. Now, not every muscle is the same. When you go to the fish store, ask them for Prince Edward Island muscels. If you want to be like in the know, just say like, you have any PEI muscles? Because your fishmonger is going to know what that means. Prince Edward Island muscles, you want farm raised muscles. Why? Because they're clean, they're very sweet, and they don't have those sort of beards that muscles have on them. And they're clean, they're just basically ready to go, You're just ready to cook them. Um, and that makes a big difference. So I, I, I don't, I literally don't cook muscles unless they're from PEI, Prince Edward Island, all right? That's your buzzword for the day. So we have the muscles, we need some garlic. We need some shallots. This is gonna be the aromatics for the broth. We need some white wine, because the white wine will cook the mussels, and the, the broth from the mussels and the white wine are gonna make the broth and the sauce, the sauce that you really want. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper in there, some fresh parsley at the end, and then, this is the key. I'm sorry, everybody. It's a French dish, we need some butter, unsalted butter. And then, of course, we're gonna make some crusty bread to go alongside with it as well, okay? so. Let's get started. So we're going to start by chopping up uh, some shallots. Now, the shallots aren't the most important piece of this dish. You can use an onion if you want, or some scallions. But I like the idea of shallots because they're, they're sweeter than onions. Um, but you just want to dice them very, very finely. So, I mean, this is sort of the, the proper sort of culinary school way to, to dice a shallot. But if you don't have the same skills, you can coarsely chop them just like this until they get really nice and fine. Because we don't want big pieces of shallots in there, we just want the flavor. And we want to make sure that the, uh, the shallots are nice and fine. Then we're going to add some garlic. When you think about this, it's like, Garlic and shallots, a little bit of red chili, and lots of butter, and the mussel broth. It's so good. It's so, so good. So we separate the cloves, and then take the side of your knife, and it actually helps break away the skin from the meat of the garlic itself. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna crush our garlic. And I like to crush my garlic so that when it's cooking in the pot with the mussels, it actually kind of just dissolves and becomes, becomes part of the broth. So you're not like biting into a big piece of garlic. Mm. I can already taste the mussels. I get, I can smell them right here. When they start to cook in that broth with the wine and the garlic and the shallots, and then you finish it with some beautiful butter, or as I like to call it, butter. Um, And if you notice, I took a little bit of salt and just put the salt on top of the garlic and that's gonna act as an abrasive. So when I turn my knife, I crush the salt and the garlic together to make a garlic paste. So we're gonna start with a little bit of light oil just to kind of sweat the, the garlic and the shallots. I'm gonna use canola oil. And I'm gonna put the shallots in and the garlic. And I don't want the garlic and the shallots to cook too much, just to sweat a little bit. And then we're gonna put the mussels right on top. Then we're gonna add some white wine. Galloping gourmet style. Bringing back the old school. And now we're gonna, we're just going to um, just give it a quick mix. 
and then we're gonna cover them. We're gonna steam these mussels, and the only way you can steam them is by covering them in the pot. And as soon as the mussels are cooked, I'm sorry, as soon as the mussels open, they're cooked. So it's literally gonna take like a minute and a half maximum. And we're gonna finish it with some butter and some parsley, and we're gonna make some crusty bread to go along with it because, you know, we have that beautiful broth. We want some of the, uh, the bread to kind of go along with it. You can, if you want to, you can just kind of take a baguette and just rip pieces of the bread off. Um, you can toast it if you want. Actually, this bread is um, really nice and fresh and it has a really good crust on the outside. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just kind of serve it as it is. It's totally fine. And I like the idea of just kind of ripping it instead of cutting it. it. Just makes it a little more rustic. Let's check our mussels. Here, check this out. Come here. You can see they're start. Mm, they're starting to open a little bit. It's gonna, it's gonna be literally like another, I don't know, 30 seconds, and we're gonna be done. All right. So we have our crusty bread. I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of parsley, just as our mussels are starting to finish. And this is something you can have the, you can have the parsley chopped ahead of time. If you feel like you know you're not gonna you're not gonna time it right, having all the ingredients ready to go, to me that's really key. Just gonna chop some parsley up for some freshness. Gonna pop in a couple of crushed red peppers. Look how that looks. So some of the peppers, then the parsley. It's all coming to a close here, folks. It's all happening right in front of you, right in front of your eyes. Are your muscles cooked? because mine are almost ready to go. I don't want to start eating before you. I know what you're saying, that's a lot of butter. You're 100% right, but that's what makes these things taste good. So now you can see a lot of them are, are open, almost all of them are open, and all we're gonna let happen now is let the butter emulsify in with the, that white wine and mussel broth. And what happens is, you know, because the, the white wine is cooked, it's cooked off the alcohol or most of the alcohol and it saves the flavor of the grape. So you have that beautiful, nice, uh, crisp. I mean, I, I used a, uh, a, a really crisp Italian wine. You can use whatever you want. It could be a French wine, American wine, doesn't matter. Something light and crisp, not too, not too crazy big in flavor. Um, so you don't want to use a Chardonnay, maybe like a Sauvignon Blanc or something along those lines, a nice light wine. And what happens is the, the alcohol cooks off the flavor of the grape intensifies. It gets mixed with the broth of the mussels, then you finish it with some of that butter and that garlic and the shallots, and then the parsley, and boom, you're done. Ready? We're ready to go. Here's my bowl. Come closer, look at these mussels. You can see that they're open. Okay, the mussels are all open. And any, any time after this moment, the mussels will just start to overcook, so we want to get them out of the um, we want to get them out of the pot. Then I'm going to ladle them right in. Mmm, delicious. And this is great to serve. I I serve this a lot, especially like um, when I have a bunch of people coming over for dinner. This is a great way to um, kind of start the, start the evening or start a lunch. You know, you just put a big bowl of mussels and some bread in a big bowl with some small, maybe some small bowls next to them so that they can discard the shells. And like everybody just lights up. And as I said, like I just don't make these as much as I should. Pour that broth over there. And then you can just put the crusty bread right on top, just like this. A little more parsley. Moules manier. So easy. I mean, we did that like in five minutes. It's crazy. I mean, look at this. That's what you want to see. Plump, juicy, sweet. Mm. So great. 